I say hi and welcome back to Let's Play Day of the Tentacles. And we just got a load of quarters. And uh, now we have her Laverne in the washing room. I can actually use uh, the clown now I'm here. And pick up the laughing machine. And then we have to open the dryer. Use the swear on the dryer. And use the coins on the coin slot. Whew. And that will keep drying and here I can now pick it up. Pick up the sweater. Ooh, cute. Open the door. It opens automatically. But uh Hey, how'd you get out? Get back in there. I wish Dr. Tentacle would stop losing patience. And now we have to talk to him again because we need to go you to the bathroom. Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? I, need to I have to go to the bathroom. And if you oh, click wrong, right. you have to do this all over again. Let's take a walk. And it can be very okay, annoying. Okay, human. Do your business. So now we can get a few more stuff. Send it to Laverne. And I know for a fact she needs this one. Uh, does she uh, give the BB gun as well? I don't think there is anything else here. I think he has the uh, give. To the I think that's it. I'm pretty sure I uh, give Pogi the plans. And let's set the plans in works. Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! All mine! If only we had some nasty weather! And now we can put the plants, use plants with the, and there it is. The American flag just changed. And to be honest, I think we can put the next one in works here. And use the soapy water on the carrot. Dum -de -dum. Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Hey, Ben. What do you want? Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. Exactly. Um, I need to get her free so I can walk about, walk around free. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. So I need to talk him to it you once who, more. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? He's really dumb, that guard. So we have to go up the chimney. And we have 
have to use the crank on the box. Uh, pull. And pick up the flag. Uh, whatever. Use flag. And now we are basically as a tentacle. That means we can walk freely around without having to talk to every everyone. I'm not going to talk to him because it's a waste of time. Because this means I can get upstairs. Uh, <laughs> Stupid tentacle. And now we can pick up the ice I hamster. I can't. I can't. Oh. Hmm, looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. You have to look at it first to find it. Yeah, get a bit that is cold. And now we can use the can opener on the time capsule. And we can pick up the vinegar. Would we switch Hogan needs? I can't remember, I think it's in here. Yeah, pick up. Pick up the suspension cord. And use roller skates with the mummy. And believe me, all, all the. I, I, this took so freaking long time for me back in the days. Great Scott! You're purple! Uh, um... Yes? Say, you look kind of familiar. Of course I do, Nitwit. I'm Purple Tentacle, renowned world conqueror. If you will excuse me, I've got something in the oven. Anyone I know, eh? Do you mind? You're disrupt. There's nothing much to do in there. Um, and this is the contest. I can't remember why. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. And actually, I do need to talk to that uh, tank tentacle over here. Talk to. Tentacle. Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh, my. Yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. So here... Howza! That was one good-looking tentacle. So here, smile and laughter, and then we have to use my name is Tiger Mom with my mummy. Well, that's the spirit. Everyone's raring to go. Let's get this show on the road. Ah, here it comes, my finest hour. So we have to go out, get upstairs. Because I think I have everything I need for uh, the contest. So I have to use the teeth with the mummy. No! Oh. Give four to Laverne. Who got the spaghetti? Give the spaghetti to Laverne as well. Use spaghetti on mummy. Use Four with mommy's head. Yes. And 
he has the laughing machine. Use laughing machine. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen to this. So, I think I can go through all of them, or I can... Uh, hey, think. when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. Wow, for a moment, that's some great looking hair. Yes, it has a certain meatiness. But does it have stars and lightning bolts? No, Harold is still the best. But if Harold were to say, drop dead, I'd give first place to the mummy. Agreed. Okay, so this just confirms that it doesn't matter which one of those uh, categories I'm choosing, they will always go for Harold. So I have to use the fake, use the fake buff with Harold. Oh, Harold, that's gross. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick. Now, how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an LC human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. <laughs> What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. And they walk so freaking slow. <clears throat> so now it should be easy for uh, them to do the last two categories. Um, I'm not sure. I think I should go for all hey, three of them don't again. Don't you think you it should judge time, best but... hair again? I oh, think they have right. to go through all three of the character categories to announce the mummy the winner. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agree. Yeah, I have to go through all three of them. So I have to talk to them again. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. I like the quiet one with the big T. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. Last one. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best laughing? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy, are my suction cups tired. <laughs> a classic. It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agreed. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. Wee. 
And believe me, I spent tons of hours of figuring out how to win this contest. And yes, I've talked well, to those Ted, judges a this is a where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. So I'm pretty much done with him. Now I can go downstairs to the kitchen. Actually, I can release the prisoners now. Say, cutie, what brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? I'm uh, here to see you, big boy. Really? Well, what are you doing for dinner? How about Club Tentacle? Hey, what am I saying? I can't afford to take out the trash, let alone a classy babe like you. <sighs> um, I think there's nothing much more to do here, but that just... Uh, I'm here by accident. That was the tip Bye. for you to... Hey, I don't want to be rid here of him. either. So, um, I have to give him the dinner. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife! And you switch. You're free! Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans should! Big deal! I said you're free, now get off your fat lazy butts and start enjoying it! Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals. Lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. And by that, I thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and leave comments below. And um, feel f please leave comments below so I knew, know if I'm doing anything right or wrong. Uh, maybe a like button. So I'll see you in the next episode.